Hi and welcome to Algoy. In this video we will show you at least 12 specialities from this region. If you don't know me yet, my name is Marta from Cooking the World and we help people who like to travel, eat and cook to find traditional recipes and places to eat traditional food. As you probably see, uh, this video is a holiday edit. We are now in um, Algoy, which is located in the south part of Germany. And um, it's actually on the border between Swabia and Bavaria. So food-wise, it's great because it's got the best from Swabia and the best from Bavaria. This area is very well known for its beautiful landscapes and also the Neuschwanstein castle, which served as an inspiration for a Disney Sleeping Beauty castle. Each year we start holiday in the Alps the same way, in House Christine. This restaurant was the first restaurant that Matthias showed me when we went on our first holiday here. Apart from the best Fiberosbraten in this area, the restaurant has a lovely terrace where you can sit outside and enjoy the view. Zwiberosbraten should actually be a roast beef served with fried onions. In this restaurant, it's served as a rump steak with fried onions on the top, Allgäuer Käsespätzle and gravy. Allgäuer Käsespätzle are soft egg noodle mixed with four or five different cheeses, all of them produced in the Alps. As always, the steak was cooked perfectly and it seems like nothing has changed for the past five years. Right next to Haus Christine in Eisenberg, it's also a great brewery, which is called Maria Hilfa. I am not such a big fan of beer, probably because I drank too much of it when I was younger, but this wheat beer is one of the best beers in the world. They do have plenty beer variations, and my favorite is dark wheat beer, because it's a little bit sweet. Oh my god, I'm such a lady when it comes to alcohol. The other day we made a tour to Kempton and there was a food market. And luckily we have tried another traditional food that you cannot miss when you are in Bavaria. Weisswurst. Weisswurst is made from minced veal and pork buck bacon. It was served with pretzel and sweet mustard. And then Matthias has presented to me how the Bavarian eat their sausage. As you can see on the screen, they peel a little bit of skin, dip in a sweet mustard and soon you're gonna see the most difficult part because after the first bite they don't peel the skin further, they just dip it in the mustard and try to suck out this filling. I really hope you know what I mean. And then, of course, I wouldn't be myself if I haven't tried that as well. Eating a sausage that way is pretty challenging, but I certainly did my best. And truly, the more you've eaten, the harder it gets. Wow, well done me! The next restaurant that we always visit is in Hotel Weinbauer in Spangau. This evening it meant to rain, so we decided to stay inside. I went for the marinated beef roast, served with bread dumplings, cabbage and gravy. And Matthias went for Mautaschen, which is typical Swabian filled pasta that was fried in a pan and served with fried onion salad on the side. The next restaurant that is a must for us, it's also in Eisenberg and it's called Pfeffermühle. In Allgäu, all year round, you can find wild meat on the menus. And if you eat meat, this is definitely something which you need to try here. This evening, I went for the goulash, made from deer, served with spätzle and cranberries. I think wild meat and cranberries is such an elegant combination. And also, when you are here, you need to try the cheese. This is one of our favorite cheese shops here in Algoy, and we did a tour there as well, I think like three years ago. I am pretty sure I have mentioned the tour on our blog. I will put the link to that blog post down below. And you may ask yourself now why the cheese is here so amazing. It is because it's made of the hay milk. 
In order to produce this kind of milk, Bavarian farmers feed the cows with a grass or hay from the pastures that are placed over 700 meters. The grass there gets more sun and has more aroma. And this is the secret. And those beauties are just some of the cheeses that you can buy there. Next restaurant that is a must for us is Gasthaus Hirsch. And the starter that we always go for is the Festagsuppe, which is a Creole soup based on chicken or beef broth. In Bavaria, the soup is served with noodles, liver dumplings, boiled dumplings made of bread and bone marrow, and salmine dumplings. They also have very funny messages on the napkins, so uh, if you speak German, just pause for a second and read it. It is really funny. The main courses were just amazing. The Matthias went for a wild minced meat with cranberries, cream and chantarella sauce. And I went for the amazing rose deer with delicious hazelnut spätzle served with amaretto and chantarella sauce. I had also whipped cream and cranberries on the side. I mean, just look at this. And now we have a highlight for everybody who has a sweet tooth. This is my absolute favorite dessert from Algoy, and I would say you better don't leave this region without trying those little dumplings. Zwetschgen knuddel dumplings made of flour, curd cheese, plums are incredibly soft. Usually they served with cream, red berry compote, breadcrumbs and ice cream. And also, I have to mention, although it's not typical for this region, you need to try the snowballs when you are in Füssen. The bowl is made of short crust pastry and it's coated with different flavors. Thank you very much for watching this video. Next week, we're gonna cover all specialities from Tirol, so stay tuned for that. And if you like this video, I would like you to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell. And because it started raining right now, I think I'm uh, gonna go to the caravan and uh, I wish you all a great week and I really hope to see you in the next one. Bye!